Hey, what is going on, guys? And today I'm gonna be bringing you a tutorial on the plugin called Multiverse Portals. So, at the end of this video, you should be a pro at creating portals and you should be able to easily set it up on your Minecraft server. So, we're gonna need at least two things we're gonna need Multiverse Core, which lets you manage multiple worlds on one server. So, you're gonna need that, but I'm sure most of you guys already have that. And of course, you're gonna need Multiverse Portals. So, go ahead and download Multiverse Portals. Now, an optional thing to get is World edit but it's not necessary so if you have world edit then that's good but if you don't have it then don't worry about it unless you really want it and make sure if you have world edit 6.0 which is the newest version that you're gonna want to download a special version of multiverse portals which I'll include in the description so besides that go ahead and put all the plugins that you need inside of your minecraft server folder and then restart your server so portals are pretty easy and you guys are gonna get the hang of this easily but with portals we can pretty much create them from any size, shape, or form. It can be out of any blocks, it can be as big as you want it. So technically we could have it from there to there, and that could all be one portal that would teleport us somewhere else. Now the teleportation works like this. You can either link it to another portal, you can link it to another world, or you can link it to where you're currently standing. So I could set it right here if I wanted to. So if I were to walk in that, then it would lead me right here, or another world, or another portal. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do all three of those things. First, let's start off with creating the portal itself. So if you have world edit, then you can just type slash slash wand. But if you don't have world edit, then you can just type slash MVP wand. So this is a wand tool that we'll be using to select the portal size and just create it from there. So go ahead and we're gonna have to select two corners, the top left and the top right. So go ahead and select the top left of your portal with by left clicking and then the bottom right corner by right clicking. So just like that, it's pretty easy. And then you're gonna wanna type the command slash MVP create and then just name it whatever you want. So blue portal is what I'm gonna call it. And there we go. So we've created our portal. Of course, we haven't linked it to lead anywhere yet. But let's go ahead and do something simple. Let's let's go ahead and lead it to just somewhere on this world where we're currently standing. So that's one thing that we can do. We can set the destination to be where we are standing. So I'm just going to have it over here. So let's go ahead and type slash MVP. Of course, you don't have to do this, but this is just to show you how to do it in case you want to do it in the future. So slash MVP, modify, destination, and then here. So bam, there we go. So now if we hop in the blue portal, it's going to teleport us there. So watch this. Bam, we're teleported to where I was standing at. So that's one thing that you can do, but you can also link it to another world. So the spawn point of another world. Another world is called TUT, which stands for tutorials, because that's what I do on this channel. But slash MVTP will teleport us to that world. And we can link it to the spawn point of this world. So let's go ahead and go back. And let's change the destination of that blue portal. So the blue portal, we want it to link us to that other world called Tut. So slash MVP, modify, destination, and then W colon. So that's world name. And then you just type your world name after W colon. So W colon, the world name, which is Tut. And there we go. So now it's going to lead us to the spawn point of the Tut world. Bam, there we go. We are back in the Tut world. Pretty sick, pretty awesome. So now the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to link this portal to another portal, which is probably what you guys came here for. All right, so I'm going to link the blue portal to the red portal, obviously. So let's go ahead and select our two points. First left click at the top left, then right click on the bottom right. So there we go. We have our portal selected. Now we can type the command slash MVP, create. And I'm just going to call this red portal. Bam, there we go. So now the red portal has been created, so we can actually link the blue portal to that portal now, now that the red portal has been created. So if we type slash MVP list, it's going to list the portal names, red portal, blue portal. But now that we've created another portal, we've selected the one that we've currently created. So we just created the red portal, so we're no longer working on the blue portal anymore. We've now selected this portal. So when you create it, you select it as well. But if you want to select another portal to edit, you can just type slash MVP, select, and then the portal name. So blue portal. And there we go. Now it's been selected so we can actually edit the destination of the blue portal to the red one. That's just to show you guys that when you create a new portal, it's going to select that new portal. So to remember to select the old one if you still want to edit that. So let's go ahead and edit the destination of the blue portal. Slash MVP, modify, 
destination, and then P colon, that stands for the portal name. We can type the portal name after that. So red portal, and hit enter. So the blue portal is now linking to the red portal. So let's go ahead and hop in this thing. Bam, there we go. We're, we're teleported to the red portal. So now, this won't actually lead anywhere because we haven't linked it to the blue portal yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So first we have to select the red portal since we're actually on the blue portal right now. Okay, so now let's link it with slash MVP modify destination and then P colon blue portal. Bam, there we go. So once I step in there, there we go. We're teleported into the blue portal. All right, so you guys have probably noticed, but now that we have two working portals linked together, when we hop in one, we're actually facing the wall of the portal. So it's not cool, not cool at all, especially if we have a spawn and like you want your players to be able to walk out of it. So like if there was a wall, it wouldn't work out because what if the player was facing a wall right here? Okay, I can't really show you guys. But you don't want the players to be facing the wrong direction is basically what I'm trying to get at. So for them to face a certain direction, it's pretty easy. What we can do is we can actually, what we can do is we can set the direction they're in. So first press F3 to see what direction you want them to be in. Right now I'm west and I want them to face west instead of facing south or north, whatever they were facing. I'm pretty sure it was south. We want them to face west because when I hop in this portal, they're facing south as you guys can see we want them to face west let's go ahead and change the red portal so that the players will end up facing west so let's go ahead and select the red portal first so slash MVP select red portal then there we go so now it's been selected in a shortcut for modifying the instead of slash MVP modify we can just type slash MVP M destination and then again we want to link it to the blue portal and then at the end of that we can type colon and then the first letter of the direction that we want them to face so west would be W east would be E if you want them to face north you can type N like I said I'm gonna have west so I'm gonna type W just that and then when we hit enter it should work so let's go ahead and test this out alright so sweet now we are facing west and I already did the other portal ahead of time so both are facing the right direction that I want them to face alright and a shortcut while creating your portals is that when selecting them of course and then type in slash MVP create and then the portals name you can actually already set the destination ahead of time so what we did before was we created it and then modified it but you can actually set the destination while you create it so we're gonna link this to the red one and we're gonna also want them to face west alright so there we go now it should lead up to the red one and west so sweet it worked so if you want to remove one you can type slash MVP remove and then the name of the portal so bam there we go and one last thing before I go is that you guys can include and put pretty much anything inside of this so it doesn't have to be a blank space you can actually put water and it will cover the whole thing now I don't really like to do that I actually like to have the portal the purple kind of portal thing going on in my portals on my servers but um but really it's up to you but if you like the portal idea kind of looking like this then you can get the plugin called portal helper download it drop in your plugins for it, and then restart your server and then you can just type slash ph get and it'll give you a brick called portal block and you can just pretty much place it just like I did and I really like it because it kind of covers up the whole thing as you guys can see here there's like an empty space there and it's just not as cool to me but besides that hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe because I have tons of other plugin tutorials that will help you guys server out a lot don't forget to drop a like I'll see you guys next time peace out